Good morning, everyone. I hope this morning finds each one of you doing well. I am coming to you thinking that no matter what battle we all face, we all are regularly fighting battles in our daily lives. Um, it may be a battle of a financial circumstance. It may be a battle where we are looking for new employment. We just don't feel to be called where we currently are. It may be a battle of wanting children or a battle of love, a battle of loss, a battle of surviving parenthood, a battling an illness. Whatever your battle may be, it is important and it matters. And it's difficult for you. Sometimes it's just simply facing a decision that we aren't certain. What is the correct decision? Our battles are different, but they all are significant. And lately, there seem to be multiple layers of battles coming at us in life in general. And as we face our battles, we must remember that we're not facing them alone. God has reassured us we are not alone. Although oftentimes, battles can be so isolating. They make us feel terribly isolated. And sometimes, as a friend, you may feel a nudge, a nudge that says, I haven't thought of so-and-so in a while. Call that friend. Send them a note. Text them. Whatever your mode of contact may be, there is a reason you have thought of that person. That could be the nudge of the Holy Spirit. We are here to support one another. And although God has reassured us we are not alone and he is with us, he has also given us one another. So as we've all been forced to take a step back in life recently, um, the past few months, I hope that in, in doing so, friendships, family, spiritual well-being have all come to the forefront of your priorities. It is also my hope that as we endure these battles, we remember our Heavenly Father is always with us. As it states in Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 13 through 18. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will stand firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes... Put on the key peace that comes from the good news so you will be fully prepared to share his good news. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of evildoers and the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and persistent in your prayers for all believers. And continue praying for one another. I hope these words speak to you. And each of you continue to pray for one another. Be graceful. Be kind. We don't always know the battles that someone else is fighting. But we know we are all his children. We know we are each currently facing battles that create uncertainty and challenges. We are all faced with those challenges each and every day. Help one another. Reach out to one another. Share God's love with one another. And remember, to tightly strap God's armor on and feel his strength as you go throughout your week. My prayer is you will find confidence and peace knowing that you have God's armor, whatever battle you are facing, and that you can find joy in knowing you are not alone. 
have an amazing week, friends.